Hi, my name is Lorraine Ann Davis. I'm the Director of Contemporary and Vintage Photography here at Heritage Auction Galleries in Dallas, Texas. Our next photography auction is on the 18th of April, and I am here to show you a selection of the photographs that we will be offering in that sale. We're very excited with the group that we've gotten in. It's taken about a year to get this material together, and some of our consigners are very well-known collectors, and we have gotten together a beautiful group of photographs. One of the highlights of the sale is this rayogram by Man Ray. Now, Man Ray was born in 1890 and died in 1976, and his famous quote is, I paint what cannot be photographed, I photograph what I cannot paint. Now, he lived for many years in Paris and was one of the Dadaists, along with Marcel Duchamp and uh, Max Ernst. And although photogenic drawings were used right from the advent of photography in 1839, Man Ray claims to have invented what he calls the rayogram. Now, the rayogram is when you place objects directly on a piece of photographic paper and then expose the photograph to light or expose the photographic paper to light, and then you make these silhouettes of objects. This is a 1963 copy, which was printed by uh, Man Ray's studio. It's a selection of 10 photographs from a portfolio, of which we have two. Now, although this is a later print, this is the only extant copy of the portfolio that was actually signed by Man Ray. It comes from the estate of Arnold Newman, the very famous photographer, and at Newman's request, Man Ray actually signed this. So we have two of these from the portfolio, the only ones signed um, that are in existence today. The next group of photographs that we have, we have a wonderful selection of Robert Franks. Now, Robert Frank was born in Switzerland. He was born in 1924, and he was the first European ph photographer to receive a Guggenheim Fellowship in 1952. And he used this money to travel across the United States, which resulted in his famous book, The Americans. Now, this image was taken at the Metropolitan Opera. He was also a commercial photographer and photographed at the half, at the, the Pause at the Metropolitan Opera. The next photograph that we have is by Lou Bernstein. Now, we're very fortunate to get this group of photographs. This comes directly from the estate of Lou Bernstein and Lou Bernstein's son. Lou Bernstein was a photographer who was part of the Photo League, a group of photographers who worked out of New York City in the 30s and 40s. The group of five photographs that we are offering in this sale come directly from his archive and are all absolutely vintage, signed, and are impeccable condition. So not only is the provenance perfect, it's also the imagery that has never been offered before on the market before we received them here at Heritage. One of the great finds that we had for this sale, we're very excited to offer this 45 vintage photographs by Barbara Morgan. Now, Barbara Morgan is noted as her dance photographer, and particularly for photographing the dances of Martha Graham in the 1930s and 1940s. Now, this group comes to us from a collector who received the photographs directly from Morgan. They're signed, titled, stamped, dated, and all mounted onto the original board, and they've never been seen before in the market. So we're really excited to offer this group. We're also very fortunate to have a large group of European photographers. This group um, encompasses all the great European photographers, Sudek, Saudek, Umbo, and this one is by Peter Kateman. Now, Kateman is very well known. He came from the Bauhaus sensibility of graphic design, and he was actually a commercial photographer who, uh, who focused on industrial imagery. This one is actually a pond, but he did use his commercial photography in a very um, a graphic way, and now his photographs are sold very often at auction and in private galleries. And we're very happy to have a large selection of European photographs that will appeal to both the American and European collector. One of the last groups that I was very fortunate to stumble upon with a fellow uh, consignment director 
was a group of lunar photographs. Now, this is the most photo this is the most exciting group of photography I've found in a long time, and it comes from a pro the largest private collection of lunar and planetary explorations made by unmanned satellites. Now, Viking 1 was launched from Cape Canaveral in 1975, and it arrived in Mars on June 19, 1976. And initially, the spacecraft was put into a Mars synchronous elliptical orbit, which the collector will tell you all about eventually. But what is amazing is that these are all the first and original copies uh, photographs made by the satellite images projected down to Earth and printed on actual silver gelatin paper and mosaic together. Now, as, as I said before, this is the largest private collection of this material probably in the United States, if not the world, and we are offering only three pieces from this collection, but they've never see, been seen before on, on the market, on the auction market, and we are extremely excited to have this group of material. So, we're very, very pleased to have this group of material. There's 292 lots, which we invite you to look at, which are online at we, as we speak. We are previewing the sale in New York at the Hilton from March 28th until April 1st. Please call, make an appointment, come up to see the material firsthand if you're in New York. Otherwise, we will be in Dallas previewing the material from the 14th to the 17th of, of April. And the sale is on Saturday, the 18th of April. We're very, very pleased to offer this group of photography, and we look forward to seeing you there.